Hi, Quentin Doctor here, and in this video we're going to look at running Check Disk in Windows 7, which is covered in the book in two different exercises, exercises 13.7 as well as 13.8. In this video, though, we're going to look at how to do it from Windows as well as from a command line. First, in Windows, if I open up my computer, notice I'll have my hard drives uh, listed here. If I right-click on my hard drive and click on Properties, and then go to my Tools window, I've got a button up, or an option up at the very top here called Error Checking, and this will check the drive for errors. If I click on Check Now, that's going to open up my check disk for my HP Volume Drive C. I've got two options here. One is automatically fix file system errors, and the second is to scan for an attempt recovery of bad sectors. This is a little bit more of an intensive scan, and it'll take a little bit, actually quite a bit longer if you do choose that option. So if I click on Start here, it's going to think for just a second. Now, with my C drive is actually being in use because it's my my system drive so it can't actually do anything uh, to check it right now so if I wanted to I could click on this schedule disk check and it would check it once I rebooted my system I'm gonna cancel that though because scheduling it isn't really much fun for right now and cancel that and I've got a flash drive that I plugged in and we're gonna do the same thing with that we're gonna run check disk to actually see what it looks like so if I click on tools check now automatically fix errors click on start it takes just a second because it's pretty small and it tells me that it was successfully scanned and no problems were found had it found a problem it would have fixed it automatically so we'll go ahead and close that out hit cancel and close this down now running it through a command line a little bit different here so notice I open up a command window and I can give us a little bit more room to see here pretty simple check DSK now, one problem. Access is denied because I don't have sufficient privileges. You have to be an administrator to run this um, and run, a, run the uh, command prompt in elevated mode, and I didn't do that. It didn't open it up that way. So, my mistake. So, I'm going to click exit, or I'm sorry, type exit, and then we're going to go ahead and open up command prompt again. This time, when I open up the command prompt, though, I'm going to hold down my control and shift key and press enter, and when I do that, it's going to say, hey, you know, give me my, secure, my user account control security window, which I say yes to and I'm going to open it up and notice that instead of my uh, user path uh, that it opened up to this time it actually opens up to Windows System 32. So same thing I'm going to run check disk you know, actually give us a little bit more room before I hit enter here but if I run check disk it tells me that it's NTFS and it's going to go ahead and start running the check. This is going to take a few minutes you're going to have to trust me on this one Okay, now you can see that check disk has completed. That took about uh, almost three minutes on my system to do. It, it's going to depend on the size of your hard drive. That's going to that's going to determine how long this takes. As well as if there's more problems, if it detects more problems uh, and has to fix more problems, that'll that'll make it take longer as well. So you can see here that basically checked my total disk space, how many files, indexes. I have zero bad sectors. That's good. Um, and some just additional information that it gives me here. But basically. Um, Windows has checked the file system and found no problems. That's really what I was looking for. Now, that was just a basic check disk. If you have questions on what else check disk can do for you, there's always the handy dandy slash question mark, which will give you your different options. The two most common switches that you're going to use with check disk are slash F, which fixes errors on, on the disk, or slash R, which is going to locate bad sectors and recover, recover readable information. Again, that's going to take a lot longer because it's doing a more thorough examination, but if you think you have problems with your hard drive, it may not be a bad choice to, to go with. That is how you run check disk.